Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Well, today I'm going to share a tool which is very, very helpful and handy. With this one tool, not only we can fix Windows Update Service if you're unable to window update Windows, it will scan your computer, it will repair your computer, it will create a restore point. There are so many things which this free tool will do, do it for you. So for that, you just need to open your favorite browser and then you need to type wu reset download once you have typed it hit enter and the make sure uh, the results will come https wu reset.com slash downloads and i will click on that now here it says recommended download reset windows update tool or table and you just need to click on download you can on also download the script or you can also download the lighter version i would recommend to go with the first one which says version 11.1.0 once you click on download a very small file will be downloaded and if we go to the downloads folder you will find the portable folder you just need to do a right click and you need to click on extract all and then it will be extracted to your downloads folder if you're using winrar or any other extractor you can do that i have used the windows extractor to re uh, extract now it's a very small tool uh, only 2.34 mb so i'll just do a double click on that and you will find a plus sign on a wureset.com. We just need to do a right click on that and then we need to click on run as administrator. And then it will ask you to say yes. And a small blue window will open like this. And it is really heavenly awesome, I would say. There are so many things which we can do from this um, tool. And I'll tell you how we can... I'll tell you one by one what needs to be done, what things can be done from here. So the first option says uh, open the system protection. So I'll type one and I'll hit enter. Now the moment you do it, it will ask, it will open up the system properties through which we can create a system restore. So by any time, uh, if we want to go back to the original settings, we can go back to the restore point which we have created. So I'll just mention the EC Tech Geek. You can name anything and it will create a restore point for you. All right. So this is a very good and safe thing to do always before making any changes to the computer so that if anything goes bad, you can always go back to the earlier settings. So it is creating a restore point right now. The thing might take some time, maybe a minute or so. So we will wait. And here we will go for the second option. It says reset the Windows update components. Now this is a very important um, part and this will do a lot of things, trust me. So you just need to type two because it says two and hit enter and it will select cancelling windows update process it will reactivate uh, there's so many uh, services it will stop and it will start you know react reactivating those services it will clean up the windows update folder then install like that there's so many things going on so windows update service is stopping and like that many things are going on and i'll just close it and i'll open it because it will take time it might take five seven minutes to do so so i can see the restore point has been created successfully i'll just click on close and we will go to the next tab so i'll just do a right click and we will click on run as an administrator so please make sure you always uh you don't open it you always do a right click and click on run as administrator and then we need to click on yes all right so now the third one is deletes the temporary files and windows which we can do it manually however we can do it from this 
in one single click. So this is a really a very good thing. And the full fifth one is chk dsk command, which you run it in your command prompt box, and you can also run it from here. And the run system file checker tool. This is also a great thing to repair your computer. It will begin the system scan. And I personally love it because it fixes and repairs lot of things. Internet not working, run SFC scan. Something is uh, happening, some, there is uh, something wrong in the computer, something buggy, run the system scan, SFC scan. It is really a very helpful tool. All right. So I'll just close it and we will open up for the next one. I'll just do a right click and click on run as administrator. Now once this is done, we will move to the next step. And here the system file checker to scan the image for component store corruption. Now this is a DISM command. Again, this takes uh, five, seven minutes to do so. And you can also do that. If that system file checker tool doesn't work, then you can go for this DISM command. Anything which is wrong in your computer, you think there is a corruption in the windows, you can always do this scan the image for components. Then it is the same thing, DISM command check whether the image has been flagged or as corrupted. And then actually these 7, 8, 9 are the uh, repair thing of DISM. Performs repair operations automatically. Cleans up the superseded components. Deletes any in registry values. This is also a good thing. I have done that. If your internet have some issues, you can run this repair, reset, win sock settings. Uh, let's say I'll just type 12, which is repair, and I just need to hit enter. And you see, there's so many things has been, um, you know, going on. DM ca DNS cache. There's so many things have been done, and my internet has been refreshed. So here we we have done it. And if your Microsoft Store, Windows Store is not working, so here is the Windows Store search, Windows update. Let me just check. Reset Microsoft Windows Store. I'll just type 13. And so it will reset the Microsoft Windows Store and it will open up for you. It will also clear the cache of Microsoft Store. So you can see it has uh, automatically opened the Microsoft Store for me. And it has also reset it. So you can also try that. If you have some issues with your Microsoft Store, you can also do that. All right. So after this, there is force group policy update. So if you have any issues with the policy thing, you can do that. I don't do anything with that. So I will just leave it. The fifth one, 15th one is the search windows update thing. That is also can be done by from by typing 15 and it will start looking for updates and it will open up the window for you. And you can see windows update class check. So it's checking for the Windows updates. You can also try that. The next thing is find Windows product key. That is also a great thing. I mean, if you do not know what is uh, you're using your own computer and you do not know your uh, own bot uh, product key, you can also check it from here. I'll, I'll not be checking it here from, uh, but you can try that. And you can just copy it and paste it somewhere. Because in future, it will be very handy if you're using to any other computer. If this computer goes bad and you want to use that copy, you can use your old owned product key. So you can also find that. Explore the local solutions. Explore online solutions. So restart your PC. So these are the things which is very common which you can do this. So I would say there are 5 to 10 things are very important. And this will be very handy tool. And I would highly appreciate and I would highly recommend you should keep this uh, as your priority your software tool which you can you know uh, use it on monthly or weekly basis to scan the computer repair the computer reset the network settings right and uh, you can also take the product key of yours so many things which you can do from your from this tool and the best part is it is absolutely free and there are a lot of people using this tool all right 
So this tool runs on script, on commands, and you can also try that. Do let me know in the comment section if you have successfully used it. And please do let me know if you have liked this tutorial. And please hit the like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have successfully done that or not. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Take care, guys.